Hi everyone and welcome to Homebrew Wednesday number four. This is my first all grain beer. So I've been doing a little bit of research and I am going to make, let's come out of this fantastic book, uh, Beer de Garde. Um, it's supposed to look a little bit like that. So we're going to give this a go. Um, so pale malts, Vienna malts, aromatic malts and biscuit malts. All of which I got from my supply store in Brixton, which is the London Beer Labs. And I've also got a um, Y yeast pack, which you know the last time I used one of these it went horribly wrong. But look, stay there. I bashed it on Friday, it's now Tuesday, and it is working. So that's all good. So anyway, I'm going to get everything out of the cupboard. I'm going to use my new mash tun, which you saw me doing last week. And uh, we're going to go from there. See you in a bit. For those of you who didn't see uh, last week's, this is my uh, mash tun bargain, um, which I got off of eBay for 17 quid. Um, and I'm heating up the um, strike water um, which I'm going to take to just over 70 degrees because they want a 65 degree mash and I think that that's going to kind of do it. Um, inside the mash tun is um, uh, one of the um, shielded hoses that you get for taps and stuff like that. So, and I've just taken the rubber bit out. See um, the episode before um, and you'll see it all in there. Anyway, you don't need to see me heating water. See you soon. Okay everyone, um, I think you can see I was incredibly over enthusiastic and miss uh, sort of thought about the size of my uh, mash tun. I am getting 64 degrees which is what I was looking for. All my grain bill is in there but I'm 3 litres short of my 18 litres that I wanted. So there's about 15 and a half litres in there. Anyway, off for an hour, I'm going to go and watch the bridge. Um, just before I put the bridge on, um, I just wanted to show you that the I, the reason I got this really cheaply, like this this whole thing cost me 17 quid, was because the latch was broken. So what I have done is just tied it down, um, and it's actually sealed. There's no there's no coming out of there at all. Um, but I thought I'd just show you. Anyway. The clock is on. Hour to go. And I have to say, I'm afraid I'm breaking all the rules. Because today is a cup of tea. Because last night I was out drinking um, Shepherd Neem's IPA until late in, the, late in the evening. And I'm afraid I have a hangover. Anyway, one last shot of the porter potty. There it is, the Norfolk Hillbilly Porta Potty. Okay, so this is the first runoffs. Um, let's see whether or not the filter works, I suppose. Still a bit cloudy, so I'm going to keep going. First runoffs have been done. Um, I'm just bringing my water up to 70 degrees, which you can't see, it's just off camera. 
Um, and now I'm going to start running the wart. Seems quite clear. <clears throat> so we can see um, how much absorption there's been as well because this was right up to the very top. So we're going to start sparging, um, which sounds good. Uh, that's my water coming up, and it's currently at 65. I'm going to take it up to 70, which shouldn't take too long at all. So, with my sparging, I am gently letting the wart out of the bottom of the bucket, and every time I lose water from the top, I'm gently topping it up so that it's just there's always a reservoir of water just on the top. There we go. My god, look at the weather. That's Deptford and New Cross out there, boys and girls. It's warm inside though. Hi everyone. Um, just to let you know that we've finished the um, the mash, and I've got um, just under 26 liters. So because this is a 20 liter pot, I'm going to do a split boil. Um, so I'm sanitizing the other um, the other fermenter as we speak. I've split the hop additions as well, so this is 33, uh, This is 16 because there's 33 going in at the start of boil. So I'm going to do um, uh, 13 liters, 13, um, 13 liters in here. Do that, um, and then there's tatanum, uh, tatanum um, that's going in at five minutes and at flame off, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the final um, aroma hops in the final boil. So I hope that's kind of the right way around. Anyway, um, I don't know, we might change our mind halfway through um, and we're, we're going to get started. See you. Hi everyone. For you it's a couple of minutes. For me it's been about 20 minutes or so. This is just coming up to the boil. My thermometer is telling me it's 96 degrees. Um, and we get to start the boil. Hi everyone. So we're back. We've got boil started. That's the first of the hops going in, which is 16 grams of Brewer's Gold. Um, and I've done it in a muslin bag because the last time I did this it did not get messy with um, leaf hops everywhere. So I'm gonna boil them in the bag. Hi everyone! <clears throat> so uh, this is the end of boil one. Um, apparently five minutes before um, flame out you put your next hop addition in. Excuse me, the, the washing machine's on. Um, so five minutes, last hop addition. I wasn't going to do this, but then I thought, well, actually I am going to I'm going to treat both boils exactly the same. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay everyone, it's about half past midnight, one o'clock, and the wart's now down to uh, 24 degrees, so I can pitch the yeast, which I'm going to do in a minute. Um, specific gravity had a little bit of an issue with that, and it came in at um, point um, at 70, so what's that? Uh, 1.070 and it needed to be 1.065 so I found a calculator online that sort of told me to you know, how to sort of reduce it down so I took out a litre and a half of wort and replaced that with um, boiled chilled water so um, hopefully that's not going to cause too much of a problem um, yeast is going in now and then that's it Okay, so this is the yeast. I think that's it on there. So I sanitise those scissors and then go that's um, my yeast pitched that's my first all grain beer done just done a little taste of it it's a bit licorice there's definitely a bit of chocolate in there I don't know whether that's right but it's very sweet so but that's I would imagine because it's right up at you know 1.65 I don't know what I'm talking about I'm tired now anyway listen um, Thank you so much for everybody who put a shout out for me. Um, thank you, uh, Norfolk Hillbilly, who has just named this beer, um, even though he doesn't know it. I think it needs to be dedicated to him, called the Porter Potty Brew. And um, I hope that you found this interesting. Um, keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep drinking. Have a good week. See you next week.